I don't know which one sounds scarier, but we'll figure it out. Okay. Anyway, let's see which one's closer, and we'll go there first. Because we need to get, I believe it's four more crystals for our crown. So we've just kind of like finished off a whole bunch of nonsense. Volcano and lava force. So volcano is closer. So we'll go ahead and travel there via teleport. And then travel from there to the volcano. I think this is going to put us on the inside, is it not? I guess we could go talk to the dragon. I don't think it'll let us in there, though. We can check real quick. I don't think it will. Yeah, it's just barriered up. We can't go in there. Do the items stay? No. <laughs> I was going to say, do the items stay on the ground? No, they didn't. They're all gone. So anything in those, like, closed off areas is just kind of like, meh. And this is a blocked off area as well. I do wonder, like, if those are ever planned to be added in the future. Maybe. Yeah, we want to go to the tower access, get the hell out of Dodge, and head to the west. Thankfully, there's not much to worry about here. That little ice cube thing works quite well. Got these little, like, sleeve things for making, um... Uh, most people probably don't know what otter pops are, but basically, like, little ice pops. And I've just been dropping them in drinks. And they work out quite well. So, map-wise, yeah, nothing else on the map. Don't see any enemies. So, downhill and west we go. It's a downhill journey. Just like our mind is going downhill quickly. Senility sets in. And then we are doomed. Okay. Volcano it is. The crown bearer saw a vision of a place, possibly a hint from the crown. Investigate this location. This place is a typical Badlands area where the greenest nature neighbors rivers of lava and sulfur pits. That's going to look cool. We're going to go there second, though. A four-day journey? Sure, why not? Get ourselves a nice little rest in here. Be on the way. We have a lot of food. A stained hunter. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll ambush them. This does not seem familiar. I think this is actually just an updated version of the two wolves, one big guy thing. But I'm not certain. Two wolves, one druid. It's like, that's just wrong. But we should have, yeah, ambush on them. So the dire wolves are going to be relatively easy to deal with. I'm more intrigued by you. I th think. Actually, no. I'm going to do this on you. <laughs> Did he succeed? He succeeded. You bastard. Well, anyway, you're going to go tank the wolves. And turn. You are going to go ahead and Ray of Enfeeblement him, if at all possible. There you go. Weakened is fine by me. And you're going to try to get up close to him. Um, What? Why can you not? Fine, just dash then. Oh yeah, because you used a spell. And switch over to your blades and enter. That way if he moves, he gets stabby stabbied. You are going to go ahead and start in on these little buggers. I do like my little control spells. Those those are being a lot more useful than I was originally going to give them credit for. So enter in there. And you... I guess we'll just magic missile with you. Because nothing else is in range. You're not going to be able to get in range with your other stuff anyway. So that dealt... Ah, he's fairly sturdy. So he's got a minute of weakened. 
So Direwolf is no longer surprised. Okay, so DC 15 honor spells. Our, our DC is terrible, by the way. So let's go for a Phantasmal Killer on... Can we actually still see you? Yes, we can. Let's try it again. Ah, oh. Ah. You bugger. Bite me. Time to stab him a few times. Die, you fool. Let's die again. Okay, one acid and one piercing. That was a terrible stab. Okay, cat spell, let's go for... Yeah, we'll just do some magic missiles. Might as well take this guy out as soon as possible. These are not a huge threat. Yeah, they're irritating, but... Worst thing they can do is knock us down. But that's only if they escape that. Which is a dex check, but still. So, cast spell, you're going to do expeditious retreat so you can move further. And we are going to dash up here and bash. It's a dash and bash. It's like a dine and dash, but a little bit more aggressive. There you go. So what does this Badlands Hunter you actually do? Now. I am really curious. Oh, you actually succeeded, but you're not going to move out of there. <laughs> How? You but. How rude. Yes, you can shove. <coughs> and he failed. So guess who gets stabbed? <laughs> yep, strike it. And it's stunned. Yes, that gives us advantage on the attack. Um, no, we're not going to strike with a second. It's already stunned until the end of our next turn. It's fine. So cunning action. Oh, you don't have... Hmm, okay. Let's see. I will go for... You can chill touch from there? Okay. That's fine. Get up there kind of close to him, but not so close that he's a problem. And I think he's... I think we've got him dead this turn, but... Yeah, might as well just make sure. Nah, we'll we'll let the Colgar deal with it. We'll let Colgate handle it. <laughs> the fresh maker. Fresh maker or haymaker, one or the other. So we'll go with the secondary there. Bravo. Nice. Is yours. Abort the second warhammer swing. I don't know why we actually get two swings with that, but switch to the bow. Oh, you don't have line of sight on him. Do you from there? No. Well, nuts. I guess we could just try sleep on him. He's magically asleep. We almost, yeah, we can't quite see him. So dash to there. <coughs> We could have gotten in line of sight of him, but now he's slept, he's asleep, he's restrained, and he's prone. Oh, he's no longer asleep. Oh, no. He took bludgeoning damage. Well, we're going to have to solve that. Let's go for... No, let's just stab him. <laughs> I was like, hmm, do I? No. There you go. He's dead. He's murdered. You lose concentration on that, please, so we can actually pick up the loot. Did he not... Okay, so the human dropped... N Did he drop nothing, or is... Am I just... Yeah, the human dropped nothing. The wolves dropped something. So he was just walking around naked? That was a naked hunter? That's just nasty. Why do we have a naked hunter? <laughs> He's just out there hunting, just free in the breeze. I am having a lot of fun with this game, though. 
That's one thing that I think a lot of people get confused about is even if I'm talking shit about a game, the only reason I keep playing it is if I'm enjoying it. <laughs> if there is something I am getting from it. If I get tired of a game, I just quit the game. So we now have a ton of food. Sorry, scratching my back real quick. Uh, volcano, volcano, who's got the volcano? Carrie, stop talking about deities and religions. We don't need that here. Some warmongers. Veterans and an unknown creature. Sure, we spotted them. We might as well kill them. I know the veterans are going to be... They're just fighters. But the other one I'm not sure about. Is it a berserker or is it just something else? Unknown creature. What are you? Got a shield and a sword. I'm guessing a cleric. That or a paladin. Either way, it is something I don't want anything to do with. So we will come over here and just start railing into it. 58 life on the veterans, too. This is actually going to be a relatively difficult battle. So, Scorching Rays, go out and murder things. I thought you could fight. Wow. 17, okay, so they have at least an 18 AC, which is a bad thing. Okay, so we'll take out these, and then we'll come over there and deal with that. So, I'm, that, yeah, they're, they're tanky. So you get to go ahead and drop this out on them. There you go, Black Tentacles, get that up and running. We do have two turns to murder their faces. So we're probably going to double Fireball over here. Well, maybe even triple Fireball, because we'll do one this turn as well. And then deal with the veterans over here next to us next. Or, since this is a saving... Let's try. Probably going to fail, but if it succeeds, oh, it succeeds. That's going to end up doing a good deal of damage. So you are no longer frightened by that, but you took 18 damage. No, 19 damage, sorry. Which is fine by me. So he's going to start running up and he's going to start doing his fun stuff as well. So you get to go ahead and, yeah, we'll do level two on that and just keep focusing in on this right here. Watch it cast shield. That'd be horrifying. Yeah, end turn. Yeah, they're taking a decent amount of damage, which is good by me. You are going to... I think we actually go up and try and use a spell we haven't really had success with. Oh, you what? Oh, yeah, because we're using the dagger. Fine, stab away. I keep forgetting that I this one doesn't have the ability to use its weapons as foci. Focuses. What in the folk in hell? Okay, so, yep. We just go in and we fear a ball. As many times as possible. All right. Oh, wow. Just thread the needle there with that. Yes. So you failed. You took... Wow. How much life does that have? That fireball, it was a failure on both of them. They both took 27. That was half the veteran's life. Barely moved this one down. Are you sure you want to fight Kolgar? I'm not sure you do. I think it's because we're in half light. Yeah. It's because we're in low light that he's not able to hit very easily. So let's go. You're going to stay there. And I'm going to go for magic missile again. Kind of want this guy to come towards us, but he's probably not going to. Or she. It. It's got a helmet on, whatever it is. I can't tell. So, yeah. they're... Oh, what? Unknown creature healed with second wind and got two attacks off. Okay. 
Three attacks? Oh my. So that is, that one is not joking around. That one is a threat. Thankfully, these idiots down here are snared. So I don't have to worry about them. I was sure. Go after them, please. There you go. Uh, do we action surge? Yes. And stab the living hell out of everything. So you should be able to, yeah, get into range of this and keep stabbing it. I kind of want your gear. You know, considering you have 19 AC, it's a pretty good base, especially considering you are garbage. So now we should get a sneak attack. And that's going to up our damage quite a bit. 20 is a miss. So, yeah, magic missile is the solution to whatever this thing's cooking. Yeah, fire it all. Even if it's overkill. That almost, I don't think that, I think that might have just been one, two. Okay, so it starts at five, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we hit with six of them. So that, I, I needed all of that. So to follow that up, let's go ahead and fireball into the giant tentacle mass. And they are hating life. I don't know why they're staying put there. That's not the smartest of plans, considering they're taking bludgeoning damage. I, they, I think they succeeded at escaping. Did they? No, it, they've been failing their checks. Okay. So let's go ahead and shoot you with some Scorching Rays. One, two, three. And this should actually kill them. He has advantage on it. Wow, even with advantage, your spell modifier is nasty, nasty bad. Well, you're no longer restrained because you're dead, sir. So, line of sight, do you have it there? You do not, I don't think. Nope. So, use power, a shadow dodge. Whoomp. Now you have line of sight. Impressive move, there you go. 1,250 XP. Sweet. That means, jeez, we're, yeah, we're well over halfway to level 9, even. It's getting to, like, the point where I am feeling bad for leveling up. If that tells you anything. Let's see what this one had, though. Uh, just a normal shield? S seriously? That's all you had? I mean, you have plate mail, but that, that's only 18. Yeah, I guess that would be it. 18 plus 2. So that's 20 right there. That would be 20 AC. But that means the 20 should have hit. Should it not? And you currently have, did it actually stack on your ones? You know, we got four there. I think it might have actually stacked automatically. Yeah, it did. Sweet. That's fine by me. Ah, uh, let's see. Scroll of fairy fire, absolutely useless. Scroll of sleep, kind of useless as well. But hey, more stuff to sell. We're going to get rich again. Buy some more books. We're getting to the volcano today, damn it. <laughs> oh, we have to rest before we can walk into a burning volcano. So what's waiting for us in said volcano? We don't have any more side quests, so might as well. That's kind of cool looking. I like that background art. It's act I, I I just like it. The floating rocks and everything. This is the worst place we've been so far. Indeed. The smell here is awful. We're deep in the badlands, sure. But that is a gem around here. You never know. Remember the gem of abjuration? 
The crowd signal was just a decoy to find Kithela. Look, is that an orc totem? Possibly. So let's quick save in here. It stinks of sulfur. Can we actually get up there? Kind of wondering if there's anything on these floating rocks for us to loot. Because that would be like them hiding a fly thing up there. So yeah, definitely save. Let's go check out this little thing over here. Probably going to get ambushed. It's just a sword and another sword. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of this loot is unimpressive. So yeah, there is a lootable up there. I'm going to go this way. And maybe there's actually an, a path up there. If not, we'll come back with flying soon. Okay, so you can get up on this. He can't. Because he doesn't have the strength Artistic to jump that far. Not great. So this is something we need to shove. Don't stand in the lava. Apparently they do want to stand in the lava, so I have to be careful with their, where they want to pathfind to. That's horse malarkey. Okay. So there are things up here that we can loot. Everybody except for you can actually go along these side areas. You're so shove that fair, down. <laughs> Woo, a second one. What are these? They are Dwarven Primrose. I don't even know what recipe that's for. So loot that. <laughs> That is amaranth. No, it's primordial lava stones. Okay. So can we get over to there? Not yet. Why does this feel like something we should be flying through rather than jumping around? We'll come back for flight later. Bunch of dead orcs. Lovely. An orc woman? She's helpless. Let's show mercy for once. I'll take care of that. She'll be on her feet very soon. I mean, we speak orc. You healed me. Why not kill me? Nyak, Ami, and her. A Nyak who speaks Orc? Gabra like to know your story. But this is not time for that. My people, all dead. Arak did that. Arak is a Red Scar tribe shaman. Powerful, but so powerful. I not know. Other orcs did this? Many tribes in the Cradle of Fire always fighting. Arok always ambitious. But now Arok has power of fire. New power? You said Arok was more powerful than you thought. Arok came to Suncloud, told a shift and broke to bend the knee. Brock said no. Arok burned. Everyone took Brock prisoner. Huge balls of fire from his hands. Many, many flames. Never seen Oak Shaman so powerful. Arok said he found power in Cradle of Fire, Heart of Mountain. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Arok found the gem of evocation. Many fireballs. Our gems don't do that. In any case, we need to find this Brock. 
No, our gems just raise the freaking dead, but that's it. Lead us to a rock and we'll avenge your tribe. Agreed. We go into Volcano, maybe find Brock alive. And we've got an ally that we've probably got to keep alive. Yup, important to the story.